the spaceship that we hoped would be our future. I have to warn them about the conditions on Earth. This is your first feature film that you direct since you've become a father. What instincts have changed in your filmmaking because of this? Nothing is in terms of filmmaking. I will say that there are funny moments. You know, my daughter and son came to visit me when I was in this big water tank as I fall into the ice. You know, it's a big water tank we're shooting in. And I'm in there and I'm trying to do a scene and my daughter keeps going, Papa, I want to come swimming with you. So now my daughter literally thinks every time I say I'm going to work, she thinks I'm going swimming. So it's hard to explain to her that, you know, I'm actually working, you know. We all have dreams and goals and those require sacrifice. And oftentimes as we age, those adapt. So for you, how have you seen yours kind of shift as you've gone through the years? I would make the argument that I'm, I, I've ended up being more successful than I'd ever dreamed of. Obviously, I cut tobacco in Kentucky for a living, you know, and I sold ladies shoes, which, by the way, much worse and much harder than cutting tobacco. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I didn't really see my career or my life going in this direction. So everything is kind of icing on the cake for me. I've, I've always felt that, uh, you know, that I should be celebrating how, you know, luck is a big part of my life. And, and people, I think, expect if you get lucky for you to enjoy it. And I and I do the, my best, the best I can to.